Jerry Mallory here, SBNationPriveTrade.com. I know it's been a long time. I took my vacation, but now I'm back. Uh, glad to report the Detroit Lions as usual. As a fan, as a reporter, whatever you want to call me. Where have I been? Well, there's been a few changes. I know the couch looks the same. Same color, but it's a little bit different. I actually just recently got married. Went on a beautiful honeymoon. And now it's time to get back to Lions business. Now, I've been following the guys in and out the whole time through. And one of the big things we've been seeing uh, are these prognostications, these stories from Nick Fairley to Reggie Bush and now even guys from other teams like Cortland Finnegan saying this team can win. Not just win a few games, not just make the playoffs, this team can win it all. Well, let's take a closer look at each unit, how they compare from last year and if they really are prime to let's just say make the playoffs or even go further. Now, uh, to me, before the year began, 2012, this team reminded me of the Green Bay Packers. The Green Bay Packers had this slow ascension from a six or so wins to a first-round playoff exit. They had the young quarterback. It ended in the Super Bowl. But then came the 2012 season, and now we're looking a little bit more like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Buccaneers, young team, young quarterback, lots of talent. They had a 10-win year sandwiched in between disappointing seasons. And their team now that's in turmoil. Are the Lions more like the Green Bay Packers? Or are they more like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? I don't know. I'll say this, though. 2012 uh, was a year that you want to forget. They are not a four-win team. But maybe they aren't a ten-win team like they were in 2011. Maybe they're somewhere in between. Between seven and nine wins. I know that's closer to the ten. That's not quite between. But I think they are. About an eight to nine-win team. But how do they compare to last year? All these prognostications, these players saying that they're Super Bowl bound. Well, let's take a look at it. We'll start off with the most important position at quarterback. It should be an increase. It should be an improvement. Same guy at the helm. It's Matt Stafford, but he's a year older. And maybe he won't have the uh, 5,000 plus yards, 40 touchdowns a year like 2011. But he's going to be a lot better, in my opinion, than he did in 2012. He has to be uh, for this team to go anywhere, and I think he will. He's a year older, a year wiser, a year mature. Remember, you don't hit your prime, especially at quarterback, to your late 20s to early 30s. He's in his mid-20s. So we'll say improvement at the quarterback position. At running back, it's an improvement. Another year for Mikel Shore. Now, obviously, uh, that element that we miss so much, missing job at best, a speed running back, a guy that can hit the home run is here, a guy that can catch the ball out the backfield, need the lineup, and Reggie Bush. So it's an improvement there. At receiver, I think this is a downgrade. Going into last year, you had Calvin Johnson. We still have him. He's the best receiver in the world, bar none. But you had a healthy Nate Burleson. You had uh, Ryan Broyles, who was healthy. You had Titus Young. All these players that uh, now is a little bit more flux. And although most of them did not play a good portion of 2012, heading into this year, there are still some question marks. We never addressed certain areas. So I'm going to say... Receivers, slight downgrade. Offensive line, we've improved in the interior. You add Larry Warford, you get rid of Stephen Peterman, that has to be an improvement. Uh, Rodney Austin, Bill Nagy, ready to step in, possibly play center, but you lose your two starting tackles. Say what you want about Jeff Backus and Goss from Cherilis. You're taking out two starters, guys, and did not render a ton of sacks. So improvement inside, which will help Stafford step into the pocket. But you're losing your two starting tackles until they prove otherwise. I'm going to say the offensive line is a downgrade. Defensive line, you lose your two starters here. But Kyle Vandenbosch was just a shell of his former self. I think Cliff Avery was a bit overrated. Trust me, even though you're adding a rookie like Ziggy Ansah, you got Willie Young, who you could say is unproven. You add Jason Jones to the mix. Another year for Fairley, another year for Sue. It's an upgrade at defensive line. They should have got the quarterback a little bit better. Linebacker, I'm a little perplexed on this one. Are they better? Are they worse? You lose Justin Durant, maybe Ashley Palmer steps up, Travis Lewis, Tyre Whitehead. I mean, you don't have a lot of playmakers at this position. I'm going to call it a wash. Defensive back, it's an improvement. Hopefully, Lewis Delman stays healthy. We don't know, but if he doesn't, you have Glover Quinn, who is a solidifying factor at safety. I think safety was one of our worst, if not the worst, unit on defense last year. Chris Houston, another year for him. Bill Bentley, Jonte Green, uh, Chris Greenwood. 
the uh, second year wonders, one of them will step into the foray, and then you have Darius Slay. It's an improvement at defensive back. And then special teams, when you lose Jason Hans, and that's going to hurt. Sam Martin will solidify the punting unit. I think David Akers has a bounce back year, and they're trying to improve. Uh, you get rid of Stefan Logan. Will it be Michael Spurlock? Will it be Patrick Edwards? I think overall the special teams will be improved. So overall, uh, you know, you're counting all these factors in the field. They're going to be better than last year. But being better than four wins and winning a Super Bowl, that's a huge gap. At this point, I think they will contend for a wild card spot. I think they will look a lot more similar to 2011. But all this talk about the Super Bowl, uh, let's hold your horses. Uh, but time will tell. Okay, that's going to do it, guys. I'm back. No more long breaks. I did my married thing. I did my honeymoon thing. I'm back for the long haul every week, several times a week. Welcome back. What are your expectations for the year? Subscribe. I'll be back in a couple days. I love it. We're getting closer and closer to Lions goodness. As always, I want to thank you for watching. This has been Jerry Mallory, as usual, for SB Nation and PrideDetroit.com.